Hi all, this is Chris Terrell with Everyday VBA. In this video we're going to be responding to a question that I had on my YouTube channel. put out a video that said, hey, ask me a question. So I got this question from EJ Bay Bay. And he basically wants to take some um, data and he wants to pull it off some workbooks and he wants to add it to a different workbook. So this is really step one of that process. I've done it a ton. It's actually pretty common. Um, we're going to go ahead and dig in. First thing you got to do is you basically have to go, you have to find a folder. So we're going to make a little folder picker right here. I've got my Excel open. If you hit Alt F11, it'll open your workbook. We're going to add a module just like normal. We're going to come in here and we're going to call this sub folder picker. And really all we're doing is we're, we are finding the folder that the information is in. So the first thing we need to do is we need to um, declare a variable. So we're going to declare, we're going to call it dia folder as a file dialog. And really what that is, is that is the actually the window, the file dialog that opens when you run this thing. So we're going to set dia folder equal to application. Now I've done this before, so I'm kind of cheating on some of the stuff that I've done. Um, application dot file dialog. And then when you click this, it's going to give you your options. Now we're going to use the folder folder picker. Um, now you could do a file picker, you could do an, a file dialog open, file dialog save as. These are all different options that you have with your folder picker, but we're just going to pick one. Now we need to DIA folder dot allow multi-select equals false. Now you've probably done this a lot where you can select multiple files. Um, in this case, we just want you to select one folder. Doesn't make sense to do the other ones. And now that we've got to show that folder. So what we've done is we've set it. We've set it as a picker. We've we've now made it multi-select equal to false. And now we're going to show it. Now when the code actually runs that, it's actually going to show that. So now what we need to do is we need to pass that uh, file. I'm just going to name the variable FLE. Um, we're going to go. Okay, now you'll notice um, this is selected items equals one. That's because once you've selected it, it's going to give you a an index or this one. Now, if you had true, you could have selected items number two. Now, the challenge there is you've got to you've got to create some error handling because if you did do two and you didn't have two files selected, you'd have to you'd have to manage that. Now, all we're going to do is we're going to take this range. We're going to put this on C6 in our workbook. Dot FLE. And, then we're, and then best practice here is um, if you've got an object and you're done with that object, the best thing to do is just to clear that out. So let's go ahead and walk through how this works. F8, I'm in it. I'm going to set it. Now it's been created. Now it's allowing the multi-select equals false. Now it's going to show me that folder. We're going to just go to this PC. We're going to click desktop. And you'll notice that the folder name comes up here. I'm going to click OK. And it's going to give me my selected items equals one. And it's going to put it in C6, which is right here. Hit F. Or it's going to put it in that variable. I misspoke. Um, now it's going to add it to C6, and we're going to clear it out. So what we've done here is we've basically used a file folder, uh, the folder picker, to pull out some the file that we're looking at. Now the next step um, in solving this problem is you've got to go through that folder and go through each file in that folder, and then you've got to do whatever you want. So it's kind of like a nest. It's kind of a, a nested loop within a nested loop within a nested loop. But a really fun project, um, really great you can do a ton of stuff. I've done this tons of times. So um, anyway, hope you enjoyed. Hope this is helpful. Have a great day.